Hello and welcome to Blythe Ray Business News. For this edition, I'm joined by Jason Brewer. Jason is Chief Executive of Marula Mining. Marula is currently listed in London on the Aquis market. I think we may be hearing more about that in a moment, uh, with a ticker of MARU. Jason, welcome back on the programme. In the quarterly report, you highlight the increased interest in the Kinusi Copper Project and the investment in the, and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but you'll have to correct me yourself, on the Neoriori Graphite Project. Tell us a bit more about both of those, please, and please get the pronunciation of the Graphite Project right for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. And, and Tim, it's always good to be on. Um, yes, in our quarterly, we, we had a very busy quarter for the first part of this year. So we increased our interest in the Canusi Copper Project from 49% up to 75%. And we did so after a series of site visits, a series of, of work programs there, which really has confirmed the high grade nature of that copper project. So a very exciting time to have increased, obviously, with the copper prices where they're at. Um, and also we've made a commitment there to move towards mining and have a processing plant up there in the second half of this year. So Canusi is looking very, very good. Uh, Niori Niori, the graphite, which you actually presented, you pronounced really well there, Tim. Um, new project we picked up in the quarter, um, exceptionally high grade and uh, jumbo flakes. I, I had the pleasure of being there with some of the team from Tequila Mining. And uh, it, was, it was great to see it firsthand. And we've got a lot of samples which we've taken now and again, in full analysis of. So Nuri Nuri and Canusi up there in Tanzania, some great projects, which will really put us in good stead for this year. Okay, so big ticks on those two projects. Now let's turn to uh, Blesberg. Uh, can you explain the results of the processing operations at Blesberg and what it means for the development of the mine? Sure, look, Blesberg has been one of the wonders for us and has really kind of been the, the basis for the growth of this company. We moved very quickly into production in the final quarter of last year. So this first quarter was all about getting those processing operations established and, and moving forward. Uh, in the quarterly, we reported the amount of tons that went through the plant, uh, and also a lot of tonnage which went for further analysis and test work. We uh, have also secured new equipment, uh, mobile mining equipment, and that's through the relationship with Q Global Commodities. And that allows us to double production levels now, to move the existing stockpiles, uh, away from the hard rock resources, which they're, um, they lie over. So that allows us then to get the drilling, the resource definition drilling on the existing pegmatites and, and prove up a resource and allow us to push ahead with that more conventional open pit um, lithium mine. So that's what's underway now. And we'll, we'll really push ahead with that. The big thing though for Blesberg was some of the test work we did. And basically we've pushed ahead with that uh, SMP, Southern, Southern Metals Processing, our partner over there. And we're looking, instead of producing a spodumene for sale, we're actually going to be producing a much higher value lithium carbonate. And that's selling for multiples, tens of, of the price of the spodumene. So it's a real value add. And I think will put us in a very good position at Blesberg and throughout Southern Africa, having that technology and processing capacity there. Okay, Jason, so you mentioned the, the, the relationship with the Q Global Commodities. Uh, I know they've become an investor. Just explain to us, is, is this relationship going beyond just their cash? What else are you getting? What are Marula getting out of this relationship with, with Q Global Commodities? Look, the relationship there is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, I meet with Quinton, their CEO, very regularly. I was in Joburg just the other week meeting up with the rest of their acquisitions and their, their battery metals focused team. So it's a great relationship. They've really allowed us to move forward at Blesberg, uh, both in terms of the equipment they've, they've supplied, but also in, in addition, the plans to move to the hard rock operation and actually produce the lithium carbonate. So we can do that with the confidence of the funding which they're putting towards us. And that funding is not necessarily an open checkbook, but it, it's they have additional funding available to us should we want to you know, advance things a bit quicker or do things in a slightly different way, such as the processing at Blesberg. Um, you know, I think this, this the relationship we have with them, which is defined not just in the subscription agreement for the funding, but through a co-development agreement and also through a relationship agreement. So it's a very broad relationship that's been established and really paves the way for the growth of this company. You know, I was sitting in their office in Joburg, looking at their big screens in, in, the, in the lobby, in their reception area. And it's, you know, 
for 15 minutes, I think it was, it was all about Marula and, and our minds obviously up in Tanzania and in, in South Africa too. So it's great to see them pushing us. And I think for the rest of this quarter in particular, you'll see them really stand out as to how they're going to support us. Jason, at the start of the interview, I, I did say that you're currently listed uh, on Aquis, uh, but during this quarter, you've announced your intention to move Marula Mining to the AIM market on the London Stock Exchange. Give us, give us the reasoning behind it. Sure, sure, Tim. Look, Aquis has been an incredible market for, for the growth of this company, and it's supported us for, for over several years, and certainly for the past 12 months that I've been involved. Uh, and we have become one of the most traded companies on that exchange. And I think we account for, for most of the daily volumes at, at times. So it's been a great, great platform for us and for investors to, to get involved. However, you know, we've grown so fast, we're growing even further. We've got lots of ambitions. And I think the AIM market is the right one for us because of the visibility that it gives us on, on London's AIM market, but also the, the ability for, for new investors to, to invest, to buy shares. And, you know, it's it's difficult for international investors to to go through the Aquis Exchange. It's it's difficult for even your retail, your mums and dads investors there in London as well, uh, and in and the UK. So being on that A market will give us that uh, visibility, but it will give investors a greater means of investing and supporting this this company, our story, and our plans for the year. So very excited about the the move to AIM, you know, which is coming up soon. We're we're busy working with all the consultants, legal, technical, financial. And, uh, you know, it is hurting cats at times, trying to get everybody together and get a definitive time frame on, on when we're going to list. But, you know, we're working as hard as we can to get it done. And uh, we're looking forward to that date later, this, later on when we'll be able to confirm the listing. So, uh, Jason, thanks ever so much for the, the update on the quarter. We always like to look forwards a little bit as well. So in the coming months, in addition to the AIM listing, uh, what else can we expect uh, out of Marula? Um... Look, Canusi, commencement of mining, the, the processing plant, final design work, then that'll be uh, commissioned late in, this, late in this quarter, early next quarter. So that's that's Canusi. Uh, sample results out of there. Drilling to commence at Nuri Nuri. Same, you've got a lot of sample results. Drilling to commence, some big trench work going on as well. Um at Bagamoyo, which we haven't really talked about, our other graphite project along the coast, um, we're moving into that phase two work. We've already identified two major graphite uh, bodies there, two kilometers in, in length, so some, some significant work there. And then look, Blesberg, we've we've said already that we're, we're focusing on the production of a lithium carbonate. And I think you'll see a lot more news on that. Well, I know you're going to see a lot more news on that in, in the coming weeks for sure, as we you know, put out the independent results on the analysis of what we're producing uh, and so on. So there's there's a lot happening, that's for sure. Jason, thank you for that. That was Jason Brewer giving us an update across the Marula portfolio of copper, lithium and graphite assets that the company has, and also giving us a little peek into the future. That's it for this edition of Blythe Ray Business News. Thanks for watching.